Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 43 in chapter 15. Chapter 15 is about waves. In this problem, we talk about the standing waves. For this one, we can see the frequency is given for the violin string, right? And then we need to find the new frequency if this length of the string changes to two thirds. So for this part, we can see for the violin string, one chord of length L is fixed at both sides, and the wavelength for standing wave is given by this function, 2L divided by N. N is how much the standing wave in the string. In this case, we consider it's just a 1. So that means in the first case, the lambda is 2L1, right? In the second situation, the lambda becomes 2L2, agree? 2 L2. So this is L2. This is uh, this is a uh, lambda 1. This is lambda 2. And then we find the ratio for L2 and L1 is 2 thirds. Now can you find the lambda 2? Sure. Because we consider from the lambda. We know lambda is the wavelength. So we can use the speed of the wave times the period. Right? And the period can be read as 1 over F. So the frequency F can be read as a velocity V or speed of a wave divided by lambda. Agree? And we know for the same string, the V can be constant. So in this one, we can find the ratio for the 2 F2 over F1 equal to lambda 1 times uh, over lambda 2. Agree? So from this equation, can you find this one? Because the V is constant. Now we come to there, the lambda 1 is 2L1, lambda 2 is 2L2, the ratio for L1 and L2, so L1 over L2 is 3 over 2. In this one, we get the frequency for F2 in this function and input L1, we get final answer. Thank you.